Hi, today I'm going to look at um, how we distinguish between duplicate packets and true TCP retransmissions in a Wireshark trace. So let's start with the possible scenarios. In the top example we have true TCP retransmissions on a TCP session between two processes. Then we have the possibility of loops at a routing level, uh, layer 3 loops, and then at the bottom I'm showing duplicate packets at layer 2. Now in theory you could get a loop at layer 2, it's pretty unusual these days. What seems to be more of a problem, or certainly from our point of view, is occasionally monitor sessions or spam ports are set up incorrectly and so we see duplicate packets at our analyzers. Let's take a look at a trace. Here's a trace of a true TCP retransmission. Now there are two characteristics here. The first thing is that the sequence number that we see here, if I flip between the two packets, you can see the sequence number doesn't change. And of course that would be true if they were binary copies of each other. But the telltale sign is if you look at the IP ID just here, the IP identifier or identification, if I flip between the two packets now, you'll see that that number changes. So that tells me that these aren't the, this isn't the same packet that I'm seeing twice. This is a true TCP retransmission. Now let's look at a loop. So here we see what appear to be TCP retransmissions. We can see the packet being repeated over and over again, so I've got eight copies of the packet. But if I look at the IP ID this time, we'll find that the number doesn't change. So if we check this number here, you can see as I come, as I move up and down through all the trace uh, entries, that number isn't changing. But what is changing is the time to live value. So we can see that it starts out at 128. Then it drops, it drops, it drops, it drops. It keeps dropping until it hits zero, at which point uh, the network will just throw the packet away because it will have detected a, a loop. So there we see the characteristics of a looping packet at layer three. Now let's look at a layer two duplicate. Now in this case, you'll see that the sequence number the TCP sequence number doesn't change, so we see the sequence number over here, no change in the sequence number. There's no change in the IP identifier, so that doesn't change either. And if you notice, the time to live hasn't changed. And in fact, they are complete binary copies of each other. So if I just move this up and show the hex dump of the packet, and if you just watch the hex dump as I flick flip between the two you can see there's absolutely no change in any of the bytes. So just to recap what we can do is uh, we can look at the traces if we see that the TCP number remains the same but the IP ID changes then that's a true retransmission. If we see that the sequence number and the IP ID doesn't change but the TTL is dropping then we know it's a layer 3 loop and if it's a byte for byte identical packet and we've got a problem at layer two. Okay, see you soon.